In this video, we are going to focus on derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. You will find this on page 483 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 s. Differentiate the function fx equals lin x. Okay, now to understand this rule, let's just Let's just go through this. In chapter 9, we learned that y equals lin x. We can convert it to exponential form. Okay? So, can you still remember? There's the e. Oh, let's take another color. And then we just, we write the e, the base, and we swap the y and the x. Just like it's there. So, x equals e to the power of y. In the previous section, 11.2, we learned that y equals ex, if we differentiate this, dy by, I think there's a printing mistake, dx is equal, just it stays exactly the same, e to the power of x. Now, using these two results, we can find the rule for differentiating lin x. So, if I convert it from this logarithmic form to exponential form, I'm getting this. Now, if I differentiate this, remember the first one on top, so it's dx over dy, it stays the same, e to the power of y. But now, if I want to get the y on top, it's almost like I just swap, take the reciprocal, take, because this is over 1, take the reciprocal. But there I showed it also to you. You can cross multiply, then you start dividing by dx dx to get a 1 there, and then I divide by e to the power of y, e to the power, and then I cancel, and that is my answer. Okay, and now don't forget that e to the power of y there is equal to x. Okay, so this is my final answer. So if I, if I differentiate lin x, I will always get 1 over x. Okay, let's look at a few examples. Differentiate with respect to x y equals lin free x squared. So we can do it on two methods. I just want to go back. The one method is where we make use of the logarithmic rules. So we separate this. And if we separate it, it will be lin free plus lin x squared. Then I put the two in front. Now if I differentiate a constant, it's just zero. And if I differentiate uh, this, uh, lin x is 1 over x, there's the 2, and I just get 2 over x. Okay. And if I do, or I can do it with the chain rule, where I make this 3x squared u, and if I differentiate this, then it's 1 over u, du over dx is 6x, and if I multiply, I will get this. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 1 of the x is cancelled, 2 over x. So it's exactly the same. The next one, again I use the rules, so uh, it's a division, so it becomes subtraction. I put the half in front, a constant always just becomes zero, minus a half, lin x is 1 over x, and this is my final answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A, and I want you to do number B, and I want you to do number E and number F. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. Y equals 5 lin x. So if I differentiate, it's just 5 lin x is 1 over x. So the answer is 5 over x. Okay, number B y is equal to lin 4x to the power of 3. So y is equal, now I'm going to use the log rules, lin 4 plus lin x to the power of 3. I separate it. Okay, I can even go further. I just want to use the other rule, bringing this 3 in front. So as soon as it's separated, I can differentiate 
then this becomes 0 and this becomes 1 over x. So the final answer is 3 over x. That is my final answer. Okay, then if I do number e, y is equal to lin 4 over x3. So this will be lin 4 minus lin x3. Okay, now it's always better to take it out, so I think I'm going to really do it here. Otherwise I have to rewrite that step. Okay, then I'm just going to put this in front. And then if I differentiate now, this is going to become 0 minus a third 1 over x. And that will give me negative 1 over 3x. And that will be my final answer. Okay. And now I'm going to do the final one, number f. y is equal to lin 5 over, and that's x to the power of 5. Now, in this case, if I take it out of the rule, of the root, then it's going to be 5 over x to the power of 5, and this is going to be a half. If I bring it in, I just want to rewrite that step. So it's len, leave it first as on top. So it's 5 to a half, divide x, 5 over 2. So if I then follow the rules, so it's len, 5 and a half, minus len, x, 5 over 2. And I can even go further. And if I differentiate this now, this is 0. This is minus 5 over 2, 1 over x. And the final answer is negative 5 over 2x. And that's how you do it.